Hi everybody, welcome, it's Kira from Plaid and we are back with Walmart New Product Spotlight today. We are going to be talking all about the brand new Plaid Engraver. So we've got Emma here in the studio, she'll be crafting for us. And we are gonna be deep diving into this brand new product. It is a way to create great DIY and gifts and personalize with this amazing tool that we've made. So again, if you are looking to purchase this product, it is available at your local Walmart and walmart.com. Again, we are just talking all about the great new products setting in Walmart this year. So we're really excited. We were here the past couple days talking about new paint formulas and new colors in Waverly, and we're here tomorrow and Thursday also. You'll be able to watch this video live on Facebook after we aren't live anymore, and it will also be saved to uh, the Plaid Crafts YouTube channel. So you can definitely check this out if you want to go back and replay or get some more information. I have the iPad here if you have any questions or comments while we're live, so please feel free. We love to interact with you and get your feedback and hear how you love the product. And let us know if you have any questions also. So again, we are talking about the plaid engraver. So this is really exciting. And we also have some pattern packs. And Emma's gonna show you some details of what the engraver does, but I just wanna show you some great projects. So you can use this engraver on glass, on ceramic, on slate or rock, on metal. So there's so many different stone, there's so many different surfaces that you can use this on. This kit is great, it's 10 pieces, and I'm gonna actually show you, it comes in this great box, and it comes in a storage kit, so it comes in this plastic storage kit. Open it up, it's really nice, it has a, not a lock, but a clasp on it. And in here you get the engraving tool. Now, I love this because it's cordless. I hate when you're working with a tool and you're restricted by you know, a plug or a cord or it gets in your way. This is cordless and it's a great size for your hand. It also comes with two batteries so you can get started right away when you take this home or get it delivered right to your house from walmart.com. It comes with instructions and it also comes with six different tips. So these tips, um, you can engrave, you can um, sand, you can, I wanna make sure I tell you guys all the right ones. You can engrave, you can buff, you can grind, and you can sand. So amazing tips that all come in this kit. So it's 10 pieces you get, and you get the storage kit, so it's gonna keep it safe. Again, it's cordless, so it's great whether you're working in your craft room, your kitchen, or your like workshop or wood shop. Um, this is great to have. It is multi-purpose. It is, you know, again, Emma's gonna show you how much detail and how easy it is to actually engrave right onto canvas, or onto glass, onto ceramic, onto stone, onto slate. It makes it really easy. We also have these great pattern packs. So you can use your own pattern, and again, if you wanna have a special font or design, you can actually just print that off and use it. Emma's gonna show you two different ways that you can use this to transfer your pattern. But we've created a pack of four sheets, and these are reusable, and you can either, again, use them in a 3D object, or you can transfer them, and again, you can reuse them time and time again. So we've got alphabets, which I was talking about, personalization. So this is great to do wine glasses and gifts, especially around the holidays or for a wedding shower. Um, this is great. So we've got alphabets and numbers. We have weddings. So speaking of weddings, so this is great for celebration and weddings. So pop fizz clink, groom and bride. This is great to do like some stemless wine glasses as a gift, pair it with a bottle. So this is really fun. This is a home and kitchen theme. So you can see we've got happiness is homemade, baked with love, pantry. So this is again, great to do like your ceramic canisters or your glass canisters to actually store your um, food and your dry goods in. And then we have this one. This is a fun one. So this is kind of a combo sheet. So we've got pet, so we've got cat and dogs. And then we also have beach. So we've got an anchor, life is better at the beach. And again, you can mix and match all of these. They're reusable. They're really great to use on 3D objects and flat objects. So if you guys have any questions, let us know. Emma is going to show you all the great um, tips and tricks that you can do with this plaid engraving tool. Awesome. Thanks, Kira. So uh, like Kira said, welcome everybody. I'm so happy to be here with you all and to share a little bit about our plaid oh, engraver tool. Really so you. like Kira said, it comes um, all ready for you to get started when you either purchase it in store at Walmart or if you go to walmart.com to buy this. So it comes with your engraver. It comes with six different tips. 
and I'll go ahead and show you guys. So it comes with three specific engraving tips. Um, and there's three different ones for kind of different purposes that you would want to engrave. Some are more specialized for metal and glass, as some um, other ones are more specialized for stone or wood, some of those softer materials that you would want to engrave on. So it comes with three different tips, different sizes, so that you can um, engrave things with really fine detail, or if you want to get some bigger, smoother strokes with your tip. And then it comes with, like Kira said, a buffing tip, a grinding tip, and a sanding tip. Um, I really love the buffing tip for polishing certain surfaces. Sometimes if I've engraved like metal or glass, I just want to polish it up a little bit, get some of the loose debris that comes off while you're engraving, and just make it look really shiny and beautiful. Um, the grinding tip is really good for wood surfaces and metal surfaces to kind of um, make those strokes a little bit uh, bigger and a little bit deeper. And then the sanding band is really great for cleaning up some sharp edges that you can get when you do engrave or just your regular crafting needs. If you have a sharp edge that you want to sand down a little bit, the sanding band is really, really great for that. So um, I'm going to show you guys one way to transport your pattern sheets onto clear glass. It is super, super easy. And I'm going to do a little um, unboxing, so to say, to show you guys exactly what you get when you pick up one of these engraving pattern sheets. So like Kira said, it comes with four pattern sheets. And it also comes with some transfer paper, which is really great for transferring onto opaque surfaces like wood or metal or glass or uh, ceramic. So it comes like this. So here are your four pattern sheets and then here is that transfer paper. So I'm going to set my transfer paper aside and I'm going to grab my pattern sheets here. Okay. So it's really easy to use. You can either keep your sheet intact like this or you can cut some individual designs just to make it easier to transfer over to a smaller surface like we're going to do this wine glass today. So just with some regular craft scissors, I'm going to go ahead and cut out these cute little hearts here. And like Kira said, these pattern sheets are so great because they're reusable. Um, they're made out of a really durable material so that you don't really have to worry about them like getting wet and crumbling or anything like that. And I'm just going to use some regular painter's tape, some masking tape. You can really use um, any type of tape, like clear scotch tape at home. Whatever tape will work great for this. And it's super, super simple once you guys see. You're going to be like, that's all you have to do. So I'm just going to stick my pattern, and I'm going to line it up wherever I want it to be in my glass. So that looks good. So I'm going to make sure that the sticky side of the tape is facing out like that. And I'm going to go ahead and add my second piece of tape here. So the sticky side is facing me. And now I'm just going to bend it a little bit. Make sure you guys can see that. I'm going to bend it a little bit so that it's not sticking to the sides. Line it up again. Make sure it's nice and straight. And go ahead and secure that down. And the great thing about like using tape like this is that if you're not happy with where your pattern uh, landed up, you can just go ahead and remove it and reposition it how you want it to be. And then whenever I cut out um, pattern sheets like this, I like to just keep them in a little like Ziploc baggie or something like that just so they all stay in the same spot. It's really easy to use again and you can use them and use them over and over again. So that's our first way to transfer over a pattern um, with our engraving pattern sheets. And now I'm going to show you guys how to use our transfer paper. So I'm going to take that back out again. And if you guys have never used transfer paper before, it is a really great tool and I'm so excited that it comes with our pattern sheets because it just really makes it easy to transfer any type of pattern that you want onto your crafting surface. So I like to have a sharp tipped object so you can use something like a stylus or a pen, but I like to use a pencil. Make sure that it's a, you know, a nice and fine point. 
then you're going to want to pick out your pattern. So I'm going to use these cute little arrows right here. And just like before, we're just going to take some scissors and cut it to the size that we want it to be. Okay, so now that I've cut out my pattern, we're going to unfold our transfer sheet. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut that down to size as well. So I like my transfer paper. Uh, when I cut that down, I like it to be a little bit larger than my pattern, just so that it really fits nicely underneath and we can make sure that it is nice and secure onto our surface. So don't feel the need to get out a ruler or anything. We're just going to eyeball it. Okay. So some things to note when you are using transfer paper. There's going to be a waxy side and there's going to be a chalky side. So we want to make sure that um, the smoother side is facing up and we want to make sure that the chalkier side is facing down because that is actually the material that's going to transfer our pattern over to our surface. So I'm going to make sure, you can even kind of rub it off on your fingers and make sure you can see it a little bit. So I'm going to place my transfer paper down and then I'm going to go ahead and secure that with some tape. Whoop. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that on the other side. And you just want to make sure that your transfer paper is nice and taut onto your surface so that it's not wiggling around when we want to actually do our transferring. So now on top, I'm just going to go ahead and center my pattern. Smooth that down. and make sure it's nice and adhered to our surface there. So this is where our fine tip comes in handy. So I'm just gonna use my pencil, but like I said, you can use a pen, a stylus, whatever you have in your crafting area that has a fine tip that you can go ahead and rub your pattern down on. So all we're gonna do is we're going to trace our pattern with our pencil. And the reason that I like using the pencil as opposed to a stylus is because you can actually see where you have already marked down your pattern. So we don't have to hurt our hands or anything with applying too much pressure, but you just wanna make sure that you apply just enough pressure so that your uh, pattern is really nice and transferred onto your surface. So we're making this cute little arrow coaster here today. Um, this would be a really great tool to pick up for um, gift giving like Kira talked about. It is um, time of year where it's the end of school. This would make a really great tool to pick up to make some teacher gifts. Um, Mother's Day is just around the corner. I know I'm thinking about gift giving for my mom, so this would be a really great tool to pick up, and then you can make a lot of gifts for your loved ones. And um, the great thing about this, it's one of those tools where you can pick up, and then you can go to the thrift store and find some inexpensive glass pieces or some wood pieces or metal pieces and then make some really great and unique and personalized gifts that look like they're really expensive, but they were actually really inexpensive because you save some money at the thrift store. And now that you have this awesome engraving tool, um, you can make some really, really, really great pieces. Okay. 
And you know what? I made the number one mistake. I did the wrong side of my transfer paper. <laughs> How embarrassing. Okay, so no worries. And this is a great opportunity where I can show you guys that it is reusable. Um, so we're just going to flip it over and do it again. Emma, that's a learning moment. I know, exactly. Teaching Kira. moment. <laughs> Do we have any questions, Kira? No, no questions, but I do love that um, this, the patterns are reusable. Like you said, they're not just paper, so they're really durable, and you can use them for other projects, too, if it's just not engraving. You could transfer this on. You could then, you know, transfer your pattern, and you could paint with it. You could, um, you know, just use it for a variety of designs, so it's really great. Yeah, lots of people are watching. Again, we are talking while you're kind of prepping over there. If you're just joining us, we're talking about the plaid engraver tool and the plaid engraving pattern packs. And these are available at your local Walmart and walmart.com. We're talking this week all about new product that is available at Walmart for 2022. So we're really excited. This is a 10 piece set for the engraver. And again, you get a wireless tool and it comes with the batteries. Again, this is just a great size. It's not bulky. It's perfect. You know, you get a lot of control because you can get so much fine detail with the tips. It comes with six different tips, but it really is easy to use and hold. It's not too large. It's just a great size. It comes with the batteries so you can get started right away. And it comes with six different tips. So you can engrave, you can buff, you can sand. Um, it's really great for fine detail, and like you mentioned, it's great for glass, for wood, for slate, for stone, so ceramic. There's so many different things that you can personalize and grave, and especially with these pattern packs. Yes. So if you're just joining us, this is what we're chatting <laughs> and Emma's showing us. Yeah, totally. So now that that crisis is averted, um, I just want to show you guys, too, the actual surface that we're working on today. So this is also a plaid surface. It comes with two slate coasters. You can find this also at your local Walmart store or on walmart.com. Um, it's a really great surface that I love to use to engrave with. If you are new to engraving, it is a really beginner-friendly surface. And um, it is, you get that instant satisfaction because it's really quick to engrave with too. You can really knock a lot of these out and have a fun day of crafting. So that is available at walmart.com. And um, let's get into the engraving part, you guys, the exciting part. So one thing to remember is it's always good to practice safety whenever you're using your engraving tool. And just because we are actually um, marking into our surface, um, particles can, be, can go um, into the air. So we just want to make sure that our eyes are protected. So I like to always wear my safety glasses whenever I'm using my engraving tool. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. And now um, we're going to use our engraving tool. So here's what it looks like. I'll set this aside. Um, so I've already went ahead and inserted one of my engraving tips. And this is actually the conical tip. So it comes with um, a conical tip, a um, ball tip, and then a sharp tip. So the ball tip and the conical tip, they're great for making wider strokes. And then the sharp tip is great for making really delicate details into your surface. So the conical tip is what we're going to use right now. This is great for softer surfaces like our slate here today. So it's really easy to insert. I'll actually show you guys how. So it has this little metal button right here that if you press, you'll hear it click. And then you can go ahead and screw and unscrew your your uh, little tip right here. So if I w was trying to um, unscrew my tip and remove it to place another tip in, it would just keep spinning and keep spinning. So you just want to hold that button down and that way you're able to take out your tip and go ahead and insert a different tip. So super, super easy and user friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and start engraving. So this is, um, like Kira said, it feels really good in your hands. It's really easy to use. It's a really great size. Um, so there you go. You guys heard it a little bit. Um, but you just use this little button here, and then you can go ahead and start engraving. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And 
honestly, it's not that loud yeah. for what it's doing. Yeah, totally. You could do this in your craft studio and no one else in your home would be bothered by it. <laughs> so um, now that we have made our first engraving line, you can see that there's a little bit of debris that came up. So. I'll show you guys a little bit closer. There's a little bit of debris that came up. Um, so what we're going to do is instead of wiping it off with a paper towel or something like that, we don't want to do that because we went ahead and we transferred our pattern. So um, what we're going to do to remove some of this debris is we're just going to tap, 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 tap on that table there. And now you guys can see how quick and easy that was. And we get that really clean, straight line with our engraving tool. So yeah. let's go ahead. I was going to say, this is a great question. Okay. Um, Jennifer asked, is this wash off or it's permanent? So it is permanent. You are actually engraving into the surface. So um, it is permanent and it's not going to go away. So if you do um, engrave on a glass, you can put it in your dishwasher. So that's a great question or a canister. It's going to be permanent and not wash off. Totally. Or it'd be great to make some slate coasters like this to have on your patio for the summer, and then it can be, you know, absolutely. So you safe. can put it outdoor. Yes. So it, you know, again, if you want to do a pot or a glass, it'll be safe outside or metal. So yeah. again, this is a great, you know, if you want to do a watering can or this is just a like a metal paint can. We did pantry here, but you can put utensils in it. But this is going to be protected from the weather because it's actually engraved into it. Totally. All right, let's keep going, you guys. quick and easy and you guys can see just how easy it is I'm just going back and forth making those really straight lines um, the great thing about our engraving tool is that it's so easy to use it doesn't your hand doesn't want to jump around it stays stationary and you can make really delicate and precise details um, okay let's keep going I feel like I'm at the dentist, Emma. What'd you say? But I feel like I'm at the dentist. I know. <laughs> it really isn't that loud, and you don't have to press that hard. So that's really great. The motor is so powerful, and you get such fine detail without having to press so t hard and down on your surface. Yes. So you can do things that are thin, like glass and ceramic. Yeah, totally. Like we said, it is super, super easy to use. I'm really not pressing hard at all. My finger is not getting tired. <laughs> um, I could go all day and keep engraving, engraving. Um, it's super, <laughs> super user friendly for sure. Okay, so we talked about um, changing out our tips, and I'm actually going to show you guys, look how good that's looking, first of all. Um, you get those really clean, crisp lines, and you guys just saw how quick it is to make a whole piece. Um, we're not quite done yet. I want to show you guys how easy it is to switch out the tips on your engraving tool. 
So like we said, it comes with six different tips. This is just right out of the packaging. This is what it's going to look like when you open up your engraving kit or your engraving tool. So you see here we have our round engraving tip and we have our sharp engraving tip. And then it comes with your buffing, your sanding, and your grinding tip. Um, all there for you ready to use. So I'm actually going to switch it out and use my round tip. So like we said, all you have to do is click this metal button and screw that so that you get it nice and loose. Remove it. And while you're still holding that button down, we're going to go ahead and tighten it again until you hear that click. Perfect. All right, make sure it's on there. Perfect. So it's that easy to uh, change out your tips. Super easy. And they don't get hot or you need to wait till it to cools down. You can automatically switch them out and you can keep them right in your storage case with you. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so I switched out my um, conical tip for my ball tip because I want to show you guys, I'm trying to fill in these arrowheads just a little bit more. I want to show you guys how um, the wider the tip that you have, the bigger strokes that you're going to get with your tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of my arrowheads. just like that. So we're getting some bigger strokes. I like to use this round tip um, to fill in my pieces like that. Okay, so now we're just gonna finish it up and we're gonna do that little heart at the top and then we'll be done. Whoop. Make sure it's in there correctly. All right, here it click. I just like to tap every so often, get some of that debris loose so that I can focus on my pattern again. And this would be great to work on, you know, I would protect uh, my workspace, maybe do even a piece of paper would work or a piece of palette paper or something so you can actually take those shavings and then dump them right in the garbage. So yeah. you're not brushing with your hand, um, you know, the glass or the slate. Absolutely. So that's a great tip to have it on hand. It looks so good. You don't even need to hold it up. When you hold it up, it kind of gets blurry. Okay. So like that's perfect. Yep. All right, and we're done. We did yeah. that in about, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, that's great. Could you show us real quick on glass? I know you have that wine glass. We don't need to do the yeah. whole thing, but I do want them to see because, you know, engraving on glass is such a huge trend and such so great for gifting. Slate was the easiest for everybody to see because of the contrast, <laughs> but I just want to show them real quick on glass that it does really work. Yeah. So we'll just do a line. Yeah, I know you've sure. got that pattern in there. Yeah. I'm actually going to switch out my tip just because the round tip isn't the best for glass. So I'm going to go back to my conical tip. And all that information, so if you need to know, you know, what tip should I use on what surface or more detail, there is a great instruction sheet that comes in this pack. And it also has um, information on the back of the packaging that will take you to platonline.com that will give you more information and videos. So, you know, once you get this home from Walmart or walmart.com, there's a lot of education that we provide for you to use this product. So you won't be on your own. Yeah. <laughs> we got you covered. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So whenever I'm doing a round surface that is glass like this, I just like to steady it with one hand. And then, of course, I'm going to use my engraver tool in my other hand. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's great. 
Yeah. I'm a little bit on a delay here on my iPad, but okay. I'm sure it looks great. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, I just wanted them to see on glass. Yeah, Everybody thinks sure. it's so cool. Good, awesome. Absolutely. See that okay? Yeah, that looks great. Can you remove the pattern? Yeah, yeah, great idea. Because that'll help them be able to see it. Whoop. All right, so you guys can see that there that we just engraved. Yeah, that's great. Thanks for doing that, Emma. I know yeah. that helps for people to be able to see it on glass. It's hard because it's clear. Yeah. And it gives it just that frosted look so you can see how easy that was on a glass. That yeah. looks great. Super, super easy. Easy to control, like you're getting really straight, crisp lines, which I love also. Yes. Using a pattern or not. Absolutely. You get really, really clean, crisp lines. Um, there's so many different tips for you to use so that you really um, get the right look that you're going for. Um, like we said, it's super user friendly. Um, you can you can do it for a long time because you don't have to press so hard with your um, hands. It's great. Yeah, well thanks Emma. If yeah, nobody has any other questions. So again, check out your local Walmart and walmart.com for all our great new products for 2022. We talked about Folk Art and Waverly and now we just highlighted the plaid engraver and the pattern packs. So really exciting tool if you haven't tried it or you've done this before, this is a great tool to have on hand in your craft room. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll be back later this afternoon. We're going to talk about wood burning, actually. So Emma will be back, and we'll show you another great DIY. Yeah. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day.